step one, go to utorrent.com. Then you're going to want to go to get utorrent. Then go to the free download. And it should download for you. But I don't want it to download. Fuck. Okay. Um. When it finishes downloading, you will have, like, the icon on your desktop or something. And it will be green. You click on that, and this is your download thingy. This houses all your downloads that you're going to be using. So, step two. My favorite site to use is the piratebay.se and then you're going to type in the game that you want you wanted the sims but I already have something else loaded um, and then you just type in the name of the game and enter hopefully it'll search alright make sure it says games PC. If it says games Mac, you're going to be in trouble. So, pick one of the games. Make sure on the side it has like a high number. 21's okay too. It's lower. Just make sure it has more than like one or two. And then click one of them. You're going to click the magnet link or if there's like a torrent file color link. Just click the download thing or right click and then open with uTorrent and it'll pop up this now select the folder that you want to save it in and then save it there what this does is you're going to be downloading a game so it's going to be about maybe a gig to five gigs um, so once you download that put it into a file on your computer on your folder in, in a folder on your computer on your desktop somewhere easily accessible so now you have step two. Step three, go to daemon-tools.cc. And for this, you're going to want to scroll down. Go to daemon tools light. Click that, it's the same exact package. You just get like not as much of what you need, but it's not gonna make a difference. I'm fixing my wristband here, sorry for the clover field. Okay, download that. Then when your torrent from uTorrent is done downloading, let it sit for a while after it's done downloading. That's called seeding. You want to give back to the community. That gives your data back, but does not take away from you. Okay. After you've downloaded the daemon tools, you're going to want to go ahead and open that up. Alright. So now that you've opened up daemon tools, you're going to want to see down here this is a virtual drive mounter add image go on your computer to what you've downloaded and you should see like a disk one or something with an ISO file this is your game click on that if you have two click on the green thing and mount another one. Um, first, right now, you had, need to do this. I'm stupid. Need to add DT virtual drive. Give that a second. <clears throat> this does is allows you to play the game without the CD. After you've made the changes and possibly rebooted your computer, you should have two devices down here. Or one, whatever. Use the first one. 
good amount. Yeah. And select the game. This is probably going to be the game. It's going to look like disc one. It's going to say if you highlight it. What are properties? It'll say dot ISO. An ISO file, that's a disk image file. That is your CD game. And then mount that. And then an automatic auto run thing should pop up. This is the part when you install your game. Shouldn't take too long. After a bit, it should load your game right up. It runs just as fast, if not faster, than the actual CD of the game. So you should have no trouble playing it. Well, Natalie, that wraps up my little tutorial. I hope it helped.